Sort of took a little snack break, and here we go. I'm back to recording. If you missed the last episode, then go check the link down below for the Tales of Berseria playlist, so you can go watch those previous episodes. It should. And then let's go on. And it looks like we're starting it as always, checking on our expedition. Take a look at oh, this. I didn't mention my usual. If you watched last episode, then you know where we're well, at. Well. But anyway, oh, now prepare. here's a fine haul. Did we get the new- no. Scout ship setting sail. Item. Anyway, so yeah, if you watch the last one, you know where we're at, you know who we're looking for. You know what's up and such. My battery level is apparently low, that's great. So let me just try to quick- okay, I plugged it in, I hope it's charging, because my battery on my PlayStation 4 controller is trying to die. But let's hope it doesn't actually die. Okay, this thing's transporting. So places. Don't know what's going on. I'm gonna go down this way. Oh. Is that? It says it's low again, but oh. Grimoire? Well, hello. She's moving away. trying to say that my battery is dying so I don't know. I need to get like new cords for my <laughs> controllers because, well, like the charging cords because they work like half a time. Ow, 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 ow. That's, that's bad. That's, I done forgot how to. Here we go. That's how we use items with this one. Yeah. I am now okay. Why do you keep trying to do this to me? Oh. I need you. <laughs> so we are now Eleanor, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, I don't have her moves set. I actually need to go in and individually set some of the moves that I can actually do. Because I haven't done that for any of the other characters. Okay, apparently I have floating rocks around me. Or at least I did help. Okay, I need... Items. <laughs> I'm going to die otherwise. Oh, Ooh, love healing circles. Yeah! Did something, um, magical. Yes! <laughs> Let's go, Eleanor. Destroy it. Destroy it. Maybe. <laughs> ow, ow. I did not mean to switch to him. But alright, well, that's what we're doing. I'm actually sort of trying to press buttons to figure out how to do that special move, but uh, obviously I can't do that. What the heck? Oh, Aizen's in trouble. So, oh, I didn't mean to put Aizen back in, but he seems to be fine. But I switched it out anyway. I am actually pressing. I have no idea what I'm doing, but 
these other characters. I'm used to Velvet. Let's face it, I don't fully know what I'm doing with Velvet either. <laughs> Almost down. Almost down. Ouch. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. I really think I'm not really good with eyes, but we'll see what this Ow, this is hell. Oh, okay. I'm also poisoned. That is just great. That's the wrong button. I keep pressing that button. Okay, I need a panel to above. That's just, that's, he's gonna keep losing health in the meantime. Anyway, okay. Level up, everyone. Except for, I think, Velvet, because technically she's dead. <laughs> Hello? So she's the same sort of Mog as Bianfu? Bianfu's like me. Right? We've been looking for you. We need your help. <sighs> Who are you? I'm Velvet. I know your witch friend. Oh. Grim, so wonderful to see you. It's been forever! Ah, you two. Still as outlandish a pair as ever, I see. How exactly do you know her? Witch training? She was an upperclassman. And? We found this fascinating ancient tome, and we were hoping you could read it for us. <laughs> Goodness, Mogulu. You, of all people, joining a team? I didn't know you had it in you. <laughs> uh, that keep me entertained. Well, I don't need entertainment. Bien! Come on, Grim! Isn't there any way you can help us? Oh, Bien. It's not the kind of thing I do. Oh, what a shame. Things happen. Well, we tried, didn't we? Maybe you need some incentivizing. Do it. I'm serious. I bet you are. <sighs> your eyes tell me you're dangerous. Trouble follows you like a hawk tails a rabbit. And at my age, trouble is something I'd rather avoid. How old are you? Ask me again and you'll get a firework in the tush. <laughs> uh, my apologies. It appears we've wasted our time. A walk on the beach is never wasted, but sorry. <sighs> well, how did you learn to read the ancient tongue? Are there books for studying it or something? My, my. Are you actually thinking of learning it on your own? Maybe he is? Oh. Well, I love reading, and I want to learn more about history. Besides, we need what's in this book. You have passion, child. I'll give you that. Not to mention you want to be helpful to Velvet, don't you, kid? Yeah. My tuition isn't cheap, you know. You will teach me? No, I won't. But I admire your dedication enough to read it for you. Now where's this book? Here it is, ma'am. You needn't be so formal. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Er, uh, not ma'am. Right. Let's see what we're looking at here. Such a big hat. The language of ancient Avarost. <laughs> Had to be the hard one, of course. A lot of wear and tear, too. This'll take some time. We're in a hurry. That may well be, but this isn't the place for study. Let's move to someplace more comfortable. You've redeemed yourself, young man. There's a village called Haria just a little ways away. That works. Thank you. Fine. Haria Village. Whatever gets the job done. Oh, yes. Rimworth. Haria. 
But it, oh, I. I apologize if I'm being rude, but I have to ask. You're not Amanoch the Empyrean, are you? Of course I'm not. What would even make you ask such a thing? A shop in Isolt was selling Amanoch figurines that looked just like you. Oh, that. I distinctly remember whispering to the shopkeeper in his sleep, telling him not to sell those things. You showing up in his dreams probably only convinced him you were the real deal. You should sue for his use of your likeness and get proper compensation from that shopkeeper. Forget it. It's no concern. Yeah, you're right. It's not like he'd ever sell anyway. Oh, you think a figurine of mine wouldn't sell? You got this whole somber all we thing going on. A figurine needs to be cute, like me. Then how about I turn you into a product? Me? Really? Oh, yes. I'll have you stuffed and mounted. But since it'd be a unique piece, I'd have to price it a bit higher. Mounted? No, no, count me out! Oh, you're no fun. Now, what was it we were talking about? Whether or not you are the Empyrean Amanoch. Ah, yes, that's right. I'm no Empyrean. I'm just a simple girl. <sighs> it would be hard for anyone to worship an Empyrean like me, right? That's true. <clears throat> oh, uh, I mean, it just seems like you're the type who can see through anything, so... Perhaps an Empyrean seems less intimidating from a certain point of view. You're saying I'm scarier than an Empyrean? Not scarier, exactly. Just more of a savvy sort of woman. That's not a bad answer. But it won't get you out of the doghouse. This is weird. This is weird. What? Hey. Yeah. I asked for peach chip. Give me that. That is mine. I know technically I haven't fought any of the monsters in this area and I could fight new monsters. But that's what I really don't actually want to do. <laughs> Okay, I guess we're gonna fight him. That's cool. Back to the velvet. Apparently, I'm still like poisoned or something. I don't know. Anyway, woohoo! Ow. <laughs> Not cool. Can you die already? I'm gonna have to do like some major farming for um, leveling up because I'm noticing that I'm not killing even like these monsters as fast as I used to. So I may have to do that a little bit in the future, but I won't record that because that could get very, very, very boring very quickly. But, I will eventually do it. Because I know that that could, in the long run, cause me problems when the big important battles come. I have played enough health games to know this. Yeah. Come on, really. Okay, now she leveled up. <laughs> okay, now it's my turn. Excuse me. This is not for y'all. Gonna go up y'all and go through these doors. Hello. Rumors of Haria Village. From what we heard in Isalt. Demons are attacking villages, and more people are growing upset with the Abbey. So I hadn't expected things in Haria Village to be so laid back. They might be on their best behavior because you're accompanied by an exorcist. Huh. I didn't know you could see the world in more than just black and white. The Abbey wouldn't entrust my responsibilities to someone who couldn't see beyond the surface. I have seen many things in my work. I've beheld both the light and the darkness in the world of men. Hmm. Despite that... No, because of that, I won't turn away from the wrongs that I encounter. Moreover, I have faith. I believe there is good in all our souls. The darkness, huh? Yes, like you. You're awfully direct. <laughs> Again, Eleanor. Not everyone is the same and not everyone is as it seems. I'm just saying. I need back there. I need these. Okay. They're now mine. Okay, where are we supposed to be going? Like, 
to an end? Something particular? I mean, I'm not really sure. I can climb. So I'm gonna climb. I'm gonna see what's up here. Let's go. See what I can find. A chest. Yes. What's in the chest? Fragment of some sort. Oh. Why is a coral branch all the way up here? That is that is my question. We <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Hello. I want that. I'm trapped. Okay, so are we supposed to go like an inn or something? Oh, where's the exclamation mark? In this building? But I can't go in this building. Hello? Oh, there's a person down there. Can I get there? Per se? Not that way. So how do I get to it? Excuse me. Aha! I can't deal with this anymore. What's the matter? Everyone's sick of all these fruit flavor gels, right? Um. So, I made gels using the giant cacao beans only found here on this island. It gave them a nice bitter chocolate taste. But people complain that they weren't avant garde enough. Ugh, chocolate flavored gels, how prosaic. Bah! This got me fuming! So I caught some maiden bonita fish you find around here, ground them up, and made some gels with them. You put fish into chocolate gels? Well, people do braise meat with chocolate. Chocolate and fish may go surprisingly well together. Exactly! It was the discovery of a century! The bonito flakes crunchiness and the gels gumminess made for an exquisitely bad combo, which made it interesting. So if you made an innovative new type of gel, why are you so angry? That's exactly my problem. I outdid myself. Now I need to make my gels world debut as amazing as they are. So I thought up the ultimate plan. And that is? I'll put my Chocanito gels in toilets all over the world. I'll call it the Great Chocanito Toilet Gambit. No one will go to the bathroom without finding my gels. I think everyone will have a lot of fun. So, genius, right? <laughs> yeah, it's weird, but I think it's funny too. Right? Uh, I knew that kids would get it. Who's a kid? But all the adults in my village called it silly and lowbrow. They forbade me from selling my Chocanito gels at all. Isn't that just horrible? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Aw, oh, man. Things used to be so... Mom would make me dinner, and all I had to do was goo 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 da, And everyone would smile and praise me. I don't want to become the kind of grown-up who can't find any fun in looking for gels in toilets. Listen, I imagine a choco whatever gel would look brownish. And if you put that in a toilet, I'm pretty sure their, their thought wouldn't go to gel. I, I really think that would be their first thought. Okay, the end's over here. So that's what I've been trying to sort of look for. So imagine that's where I'm supposed to go. Yes! We could use I'm a place thinking. to stay. Any rooms open? Yep. Just finished cleaning, in fact. You can help yourself to that room there. Alright, time to start deciphering this scroll. Yes! Let's wait somewhere outside so Grim can concentrate. Do you think maybe I could stay and watch? I really do want to study the ancient tongue. I promise I'll be quiet and not get in your way, teacher. What did you just say, child? Uh, that I'd be quiet and... No, what did you call me? Teacher? You said you didn't want to be called ma'am, so I thought maybe that'd work. Yes, satisfactory. All right. I'll teach you how to read ancient Avarost. Thank you so much, teacher! We'll leave you two alone then. Let us know if anything comes up. Oh, so we're just gonna wonder- Oh, now I have multiple stars. Hello? There's a little speech bubble here, Do but you I... plan on just giving up? Polymedes is Amenoch's temple! 
The priestess isn't the only one whose job it is to protect that temple. It's the duty of everyone born in this village. Why did the Abbey need Amenocha's temple badly enough to risk causing this much unrest? But how will we That's protect our village from the demons if the Abbey abandons us? Besides, we won't be able to do business with the people of Assault anymore. Our faith in Amenocha has nothing to do with the demons. When the priestess gets back, I'm going with her to protest. The demon blight changed everything. Will we never be able to return to the way things were? The way things were. Okay, and then there's one more exclamation mark. I didn't even see these people that I heard talking. And they're still not there. What am I just- oh, it's up there. This person's up here. Hello? Listen, I don't know what they told you in Assault, but our village has its own traditions. This village is under the divine protection of the Empyrean Amenoch. For unbroken centuries, a line of his priestesses has guided us. They're tasked with performing the sacred rites of worship. And sometimes, they even deliver us his words and will. And there's still a priestess today? Of course. And her daughter is training to become our next priestess. Although, I sometimes feel they push themselves too hard. Both mother and daughter are giving their all for Haria. But the Abbey doesn't care about any of that. And they stole our temple from us. By force? An exorcist named Teresa came and heard us out. But from the very beginning, she always intended on taking our temple. Her words may have been kind, but that doesn't change the fact that she demanded that we worship her god, Enomenat. In all the years we've worshipped Amenoch, not once did we ever try to force others to adopt our beliefs. Why haven't I seen this priest as she's talking about? Okay, so there's a priestess, and I'm assuming we're eventually going to run into her. But let's go talk to our friends. Of course you're here. So she digs being called teacher. Well played, Loppy said. She wasn't so fond of ma'am. So I guess he figured he needed an alternative. You can tell how badly he wanted to help her with the language he work. I think our Moloch boy's finally finding himself. So it would seem. All right, there, there's... Okay, we got Eleanor over here who looks like she's deep in thought. What connection do you think there is between the violent demon Teresa mentioned and this village? Couldn't tell you. Could there have been a demon blight breakout here? This village doesn't look like it's been attacked, but... Whatever it is. If it keeps the Abbey's eyes off us for once, that's good enough for me. You really will use anything and everything towards your own aims, won't you? Yep, and that includes you. As I'm sure you've noticed. Person over here. Oh, it's Magu. <laughs> Up here. What are you? What are you doing, Magu? What, what are you staring at? Like, I am. If you would have faced that way, I've been like, oh, you're looking at the Banning local sunset, religions. But... The Abbey sure knows how to oppress the populace. I'd imagine that comes part and parcel with spreading the good word. Other gods would only get in the way. From what we overheard, it sounds like they've taken over Amenocha's temple, Palamedes, to use as their base of operations. Sealing it off would be provocative enough. But straight up taking it over? Not a lot of so-called reason to that. Unless... Do you think they need it for some other purpose? Shrug. <laughs> Instead of actually doing it, she says it. <laughs> okay, so there's... Aizen. How do... Ah, ha, ha. Hey, Aizen. Now you're actually looking at the sunset. That makes sense. Hello. It sounds like deciphering the text might take some time. We should be prepared to wait it out here a while. Hopefully it'll all be worth it in the end. I hope so too, but ancient Avarost is complex. It's not just a matter of knowing the grammar and vocabulary. Oh? Mm. Then how exactly do you read it? How do you know that? I'm not sure about the specifics myself, but from what I understand, you kind of have to intuit a lot of it. A language based on guesswork? Good. Thanks, Thanks. old dead people. You're officially the worst. <laughs> well, do we get to see it here now? Story time! I feel like our hat would get in the way all the time. Oh, ancient Avarost. You have the obstinacy of a spurned lover who refuses to move on. Even for you, teacher? It's this one crucial line. I can't wrap my head around it. Uh, well... 
From what you've taught me so far, it looks like it says... Sa... Popo... Mucho... Sanchon. Correct, but if you merely translate it word for word, it ends up saying... The parent hates tomatoes, the child eggplants. I doubt those have much to do with the Nominat. <laughs> yeah. Their grammar is nothing like ours. Sometimes you have to reorder the words, and even then the meaning can require leaps of logic and flashes of intuition. Reordering? So like... San San? Pocho Pocho? Pocho Musan? Pocho Musan? Can you read it that way? Pocho Musan. Now where did you get that from? These words are lined up, like they repeat. And when I read this part that same way, it just felt right. Pocho Musan. Hmm, if that's repeated here, then the passage turns into the nameless Empyrean. Empyrean! Ho oh, ho, that has to refer to Innominat. I think we're on to something. All right, so if we apply this rule here, then... Hmm, hmm. It would seem to be a book of children's counting songs. It's not about Innominat? What matters is what the song says, child. And I think you will be very interested in the words. I wonder if they've made any progress yet. Shall we go check on them? Yes, we're going to go check on them. Interesting. So, Inominat may have originally been called the Nameless Empyrean. Oh, this door right here. <laughs> we all gather around. Well, any results? Yes. Well, thanks to the boy here. As it turns out, he has quite the knack for languages. <laughs> Only because I've got the best teacher. Careful, honey tongue. You'll give this old girl ideas. Huh? Now, child, I'm sure they're curious about the song we unearthed. Why don't you read it aloud? Yes, teacher. Song? Ape-headed is the lord of the land, with seven mouths to devour malevolence. Through pulses of earth doth base nature's flow, as he awaits the time of awakening. Four Empyreans may tear him asunder, but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn in sight of the full crimson moon. The nameless Empyrean hath one heart, the nameless Empyrean hath one body. Therians? Essentially, this ancient text you found is an annotated volume of drawings and songs pertaining to Enominot. Annotated? Then hurry up and just tell us what it means. I'm sorry. So far, we've only figured out how to read the song lyrics. All right. I take it we're still in for a good long wait before it's thoroughly decrypted. Likely so, but if we want to find out what the Abbey is up to, we need to know what's in this book, no matter how long it takes. Hmm. What the Abbey's up to, is it? I think we can learn much, even from the lyrics alone. The drawings depict him with eight heads. One of them belongs to his main body, but the other seven are his mouths. Those mouths consume malevolence, sending it along earth pulses back to that main body so he can awaken. The seven monsters fitting that description are called... Therians. Right. Now as for this malevolence, I have no idea what that means. Hmm... What about the second part? 
I haven't studied much ancient history, but it said this world was created by four Empyreans, Earth, Water, Wind, and Fire. But they also call Enominat an Empyrean. Perhaps a war broke out between Enominat and the other Empyreans that resulted in him being sealed away. But if there is someone to connect with this divine power, the Farians will keep spawning. And just like that, Enominat will be revived. If we assume that Shepard Artorius fits that bill, and that he's trying to reawaken Enominat, everything lines up. Which means our job is to find these Therians and cut off Enominat's heads, so to speak. But where do we even start looking for them? Remember, the song states that the Therians and Enominat's body are connected through Earth pulses. If their job is to feed Enominat, the most effective place to position them would be at the Earth Pulse points. Points? The place is where the power of Earth Pulses is concentrated. Places with that sigil. Hey, remember the barrier that was keeping this bug in the forest? Wait, are you trying to say that thing's a Therian? And yet... It would explain why the Abbey was keeping it locked up. And there was that same barrier at the villa, too. That's right. Do you suppose that was also a Therian? Does that mean the Therians all come in different forms? Should we go to Logres and check? We've just started deciphering the book. I'd hate to lose time on some fool's errand. I'd rather know at least a little more about what's in it before we make a move. Hmm. Something bothering you, Grim? This line. The one about Therians being forever reborn. Isn't uh, Velvet one? I just felt the same thing as I did in Warg Forest! Isn't Velvet one? The needle's pointing in the direction of Amenoch's temple, Palamedes. Do I recall hearing that the Abbey took that over? Temples and ritual sites are often built on places thought to be rich in spiritual energy. Could the temple possibly be an Earth Pulse point? There's lots of Earth Pulse points scattered all over the world. If there's only seven Therians, most of them will be empty. It's not like we have any better leads. If there's even a chance, shouldn't we go check it out? Better than sitting around waiting on the book. If nothing else, we'll find out what Lafayette is sensing. Hmm, just a theory, but if you were to kill a Therian... What? Hmm, I guess there's only one way to find out. Never mind. Good luck out there. Okay, something bad can happen if you actually kill a Therian, apparently. But also, isn't that what... Velvet was called at the very beginning after she turned into a demon? I could be wrong, but I really thought that's what she was called. Or what she called herself. Or someone called her. Ugh. And to think that she actually was able to eat and suck up power, basically, makes it seem more real. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I like where this is going, but, you know, like, whatever. Okay, I just saved. But also another thing to really reseal my thinking of thinking that she is one of them is the fact that they put a huge seal on her. Can one of the Therians technically be good? Also, an expedition came back. So, uh, I don't know if I like where this Take is starting this. to head. <laughs> well, well. Now here's a fine haul. If you got me something new, that is. Get your style, guys. Did I get the new one? No. Scout Go get your butts sail. back in there. Okay, so this is to the... 
I have a bump forming on my lip. If you see it, oh well. Who are you? The innkeeper's daughter. I just... I happened to overhear you all talking about going to Palamedes and... Did you report us to the Abbey? Report? But you already have an exorcist with you. If you have any business, talk with her then. <laughs> I... I'm Eleanor Hume, an exorcist with the Abbey. How might I be of service? I want you to look for someone. A mother and her child went to visit the Abbey grounds, but they haven't returned. Is that the priestess? They've both gone missing? Yes. The mother's name is Mahina. She's a priestess of Amenoch. And her little daughter's name is Kamoana. Hold on. If she's a priestess of Amenoch... Right. Ever since the Abbey booted her out from the temple, she's been regularly going back to make her objections heard. But one day... She never returned home. And now her daughter has disappeared too. I can only assume that she went to go look for her mother. And you believe they're being held at the temple? Oh no, ma'am. I just... I, I just can't imagine Mahina would abandon her daughter like that. Kamoana is next in line to succeed her, so... She's had a strict upbringing, but her mother truly loves her. Please forgive Mahina for her protests. I was just hoping you could use the Abbey's resources to track them down. I will do everything in my power to find them. <laughs> that was like slowly Thank you. like what? Thank you so much. <laughs> like Kamoana, I grew up with only my mother as family. I can't help but worry for them. Of course. She had the same upbringing. Let's be off, Miss Exorcist. Woohoo! Now we're here. Oh, this is this is pretty. Eleanor, <laughs> what's your game here? The mother and daughter, you mean? That's on me. I'll search for them myself. I don't care about that. Well, what then? Why are you actively helping us decipher the book when we're using it to thwart the Abbey's plans? you think I might be deliberately misleading you? Laying a trap of some sort for you all? Are you? I think you're a lot of things, demon. But foolish is not one of them. <laughs> I want to know the truth. I want to know what Lord Artorius is trying to accomplish. And there's something happening in the world right now. I want to know what it is. Unfortunately, little old Eleanor has never been deemed trustworthy enough to be given such information. So, my only option is to find out for myself. You've got the soul searching down at least. The Abbey and your band of rogues follow two different paths. But something tells me either will lead me to the same destination. And so you don't see any need to lie to us? Exactly. And what'll you do if those truths don't line up cleanly with what you believe? I'm not sure yet. As honest an answer as any. Either way, it looks like you'll be working with us for the near future. Yes, for now. Hey, could I ask you something? What is it? About the Therians. I've heard you call yourself a Therian before. Is there any particular insight you have about them? No, none. Artorius said I was one, that's all. And that doesn't bother you? Does it bother you? Nope, not at all. If you're not worried, then neither am I. I knew it. I'm surrounded by freaks. But... Was that truly the reason Ceres chose me? Velvet keeps picking on Madame Eleanor! They're total opposites, so I know they're just gonna clash sometimes, but Velvet takes it too far! You really think they're totally opposite? If Madame Eleanor is a white lily, then Velvet is a black rose. If Madame Eleanor is a soaring pegasus, and Velvet is a wolf in the shadows. If Madame Eleanor <laughs> is a plate of spaghetti carbonara, Velvet is squid ink noodles with seaweed. 
I don't follow you completely, but I think I get the point. <laughs> it's face at I'm the sure end. you understand. The two have nothing at all in common. And since they don't share anything in common, some fighting now and then just can't be helped. Well, they both have beautiful hair. Okay, but we're talking a noble exorcist and an aloof demon. Eleanor sometimes treats you coldly. And Velvet has helped me more times than I can count. Madam Eleanor gives herself fully to the salvation of others. But Velvet is bent solely on revenge. That means they're both motivated by thoughts of others. How is the cheerful and talkative Madam Eleanor at all the same as the brooding, taciturn Velvet? Both of them talk to me when it's just the two of us together. You're just trying to be contrary. I'm only telling you what I've experienced. <laughs> Actually, I feel that Madam Eleanor isn't really reaching out to me. It's all right if Eleanor doesn't want to talk to you. I'm here for you, Bienfu. You aren't alone. That just makes me feel lonelier. <laughs> you two are opposites yourselves. Huh? <laughs> <sighs> How do I didn't think my experience with this game is usually it doesn't let you oh you're like a regular snake man doesn't usually let you walk across water spaces as much so I was just like well let me walk over top of this coral can you actually walk oh, we will need to be extremely can you actually walk over top of the coral no you have to <laughs> Look how tough. He hates snakes. I hate them. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die, you serpent creature. Okay. There's two more left. Now they're just trying to run away from me. I just want the cat spirits. I'm following the cat spirits. Is this a good idea? Probably not. I live. I live. I live. I'm planning on like fighting all of y'all very soon, just not right now. Okay. 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 <laughs> I don't have time for this. <laughs> Actually, I'm legit. I don't have time for this. Die more serpent like creatures. <laughs> so this one doesn't die as easy. But you would expect to be like since you know a serpent humanoid creature. But still, it's annoying. Once die out. Yeah, yeah, you can't leave. You cannot leave my grass. Okay, there's only one left, but everyone's attacking. So it should die very quickly, right? Maybe there's only one left, but it seems like oh nope. I was gonna say Rosar seems to be somewhere else. So oh now there's a oh, where did this one come from? I'm coming. Both of my skin, I'm a grip. Look, there's our little one! What is going on? Even Why were there so many? Is effective up close. And training can help it get even closer. Mine gets as long as I want it to be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was an interesting. <laughs> Little ending battle thing to hold me. I should be a demon. That should be the big demon. We're gonna keep going now. I hope there's a safe one at the end of this. Ooh, okay. So there's a little bit. Look at him enjoying the water. You having fun over there? I'm just gonna come here and get this. And then go on my way. And you, you just enjoy your water. 
soaking, having fun. That's... You do you! Okay, when do I get to the end of this, man? Where, where do I go? Help. What? This rocky shore just keeps going. Just don't step on any sea slugs, okay? Why not? What's the big deal? It's just that it isn't pretty. Their insides squish everywhere. Yikes. That sounds pretty traumatizing. Then again, if you pickle their innards, it makes for a great snack. You eat them? Oh, don't be a baby. You've had worse. Forget the sea slugs. Try not to step on the coral. Good point. Coral is alive and needs our protection. Or maybe it's because some of it can be sold for jewelry. I didn't mean either of those reasons. Although Manon appears similar to Maclear Beach, it was formed by a completely different process. Now that you mention it, this area is covered by rocks. Maclear is just your average seashore. But Manon here was made by the slow corrosion of seaside caves. They were worn away by the waves? That too. But mainly, it was the handiwork of a rock-eating species of coral, known as ravening table coral. Stay in contact long enough, and they'll melt your flesh right off. <laughs> ah, so that's why it tangles every time I touch the coral. Why didn't you warn us earlier? <laughs> what type of coral is that? That ain't normal. That ain't normal. I'm going this way. I don't know which way I should be going, but I'm moving this way because I'm trying to find a safe spot. <gasps> so no stepping on the coral, no stepping on the squishies. Got it. <laughs> that snake seen nothing. Hey. I'm just gonna go get the stuff. Let go this way. Don't, no. No, 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 not my bum bum. <laughs> Please not. Rocky said, have you been taking care of that rhino stag roast like a good boy? Of course. I make sure to feed it every night before I go to sleep, since it's nocturnal. It. How long are you going to keep on calling it a rhino stag roast? I don't know. It's a new kind of beetle, so it's going to be hard to tell if it's really a rhino or a stag. You're asking a lot of questions. Bienfu, do you like bugs? Duh! I love rhinoceros and stag beetles both! What guy doesn't find them fascinating? Right? So which kind of beetle do you think it is? Rhino or stag? Oh, that's a tough question. But guess what? Miss Mugilu taught me a surefire way to tell. I didn't know there was a way to tell. Yeah! But if I do it, you gotta name it after me, all right? Uh... Come on! What guy doesn't wish he had a cool bug named after himself, right? And besides, Miss Mogulu told me that this technique is so good that it's only fair to have a bug named after you in return. So what do you say, man to man? Come on, let's live the dream! Oh, all right. How can I say no to that? Besides, we all did work together to capture it anyway. Yay! Thanks, Rocky Set. All right, show me the bug, and I'll tell you what it is. Miss Mogulu says you need to open up its outer wings and get a good whiff of the thin underwings. Uh, I'm pretty sure I remember rhinoceros and stag beetles smelling really nasty under their wings. Is it really that bad? Why not find out for yourself? Uh, no thanks. I think I'll pass. Maybe you shouldn't do this after all, Bienfu. You probably just want to hog the name all to yourself. Well, too bad. A real man never goes back on his word. If it packs a mean punch, then it's a rhinoceros beetle. And if it smells really zesty, then it's a stag beetle. I don't know about this. Just let him do it, Lapisette. He's already volunteered. I can do this? Just you watch. <laughs> 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 Like he's having a bad dream. 
what the heck? <laughs> I just really, really, I just need to save my game. I know there's a thing down there. If I don't do it now, I'll probably lose it. Okay. <laughs> I spy with my little eyes a kiddo who's spying at my bewitching waist. Oh, sorry. I just couldn't help it. What are those books anyway? Oh, that's a great question. Since you asked, I'll reveal the secrets of my tomes just for you. On the right, I've got my household ledger in the back, and my magic encyclopedia in the front. That one I mostly use for oil blotting paper. What's oil blotting paper? It's a girl thing. The two on the left are my heavy book, which I use for flower pressings, and then my super pop-up book. A super pop-up book? When you open it, it pops out with the force of a raging river! When an enemy has me cornered, I can just open it up facing a nearby wall and pop! Instant getaway! The only downside is that it's a real pain to try to get closed again, so I haven't used it in years. What about the book right in front? That's actually Lair Cake. Whoa! Really? Seared into its batter are precious bits of knowledge. Eating it is just as good for your brain as it is for your stomach. Wow! I had no idea that was possible! He's taking this so seriously, I almost feel bad. All of your books are so interesting, Moggy Lou! That's really cool! There's no end to your curiosity, is there? What do you say? Wanna take a closer look? Boy, would I! If you really do, then say, Moggy Lou, I want to get to know you better. Moggy Lou, I want to get to know you better. Alright, I accept. I'll reveal to you my most private secrets. Wow, so that's what's on the other side of these books. I wouldn't have ever guessed that. What the? What are you doing with Moppy Set? He said he wanted to see, so I'm showing him. You have no right to stand in the way of his desires. It's my job to protect him as his vessel, especially from someone so wicked as yourself. Also, what you're doing runs contrary to public decency. Which is unsupposed to be decent. These bindings with the locks on them. This style used to be really popular during the Meliodas dynasty. Now that I know you're such a bad influence for him, I'll be keeping a closer eye on you. If you can't learn to take it easy, nobody's ever gonna want to marry you, you know. Like you're a shining example of marriage material yourself. Hey, Moggy Lou, could you turn them over one more time? I want to see how the books attach to your belt. Yeah, sure. <sighs> Wait. What? What is going on? Where am I going? I'm going back the way I came. That's where I'm going. Oh, there's hey, another Moggy one. Hey, Lou. I was wondering about that book you have on your waist. The one you called your heavy book. For flower pressings. Your curiosity truly knows no bounds, does it, kiddo? Okay. Nobody else knows this, but since you're so interested, I'd hate to leave you hanging. My heavy book, the one I use for flower pressings, is none other than... a collection of Bienfu's poetry. Bienfu likes to write poems? Yep. You'd never guess it, but he's actually just about the best Moloch poet around. Some people even call him the Great Norman Poet. Here, I'll read you my favorite one. If there is something unimportant happening to the East... I'm made to go there and back. If there is something unimportant happening to the West, I'm made to go there and back. I can never rest nor be at peace. Every day my life is a living hell. That's... heavy stuff. Isn't it? That's what makes it so good for pressing flowers. It's so wonderfully, oppressively heavy. <laughs> Moggy Lou? Your face has gone all sinister looking. What is going on? <laughs> I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. I really don't. Things are screaming at me though. It's not very nice. There's a chest here. I also really need to find a safe spot at this point because I'm actually running overtime. <laughs> no. No. No! No! Ha! Oh no! Not again! Not again! No! No! <laughs> Whew. Okay. I'm good. I'm sure that a lot of y'all are like, why, why are you not fighting? 
I have reason. I don't have time for fighting right now. I need to find save point. Oh, please tell me save point somewhere around here. But we found the Palamides temple. Oh, and look right here. There is a set. Why does it look like it's been destroyed slightly? Alright, what, what? Oh, well, a lot of things were destroyed after what has happened. But anyway, I'm gonna end this episode here. I think it's a little bit on the long side. I really apologize for that, but I really needed to find a save point this time around. But anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please hit that lovely like button and subscribe to see future episodes of Tales of Berseria or whatever it may be on my channel. If you have any suge suggestions for things on the channel or this series in particular, if you just like chat, let me know who your favorite character is or what you're thinking about the individual characters as of right now and what this whole Therian thing also is going on with Velvet. Like, I, are we going to have to eventually get rid of her? Like, what what's going on with that? But anyway, uh, so yeah, all those things. But <laughs> we'll just have to see as time goes on. But thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.